Hello and welcome to News Click. The NR Congress in the Puducherry Union Territory formed the government after a very long delay due to the issues with the Bharatiya Janata Party. Even after forming the government, the Chief Minister N. Rangaswamy has always been sidelined by the Lieutenant Governor Dr. Tamilisa Saundar Rajay. The government, the Puducherry Union Territory, is also going for local body polls in the month of October. To discuss about these issues and the developments, we have with us Mr. R.K. Radhakrishnan, Senior Journalist and Political Analyst. Welcome, sir. So, to begin with, uh, a few days back, I saw a tweet of, tweet of yours uh, which said that uh, the Puducherry Chief Minister is missing. What is it all about? What is the tweet all about and what is the reason behind that? Yeah, see, the thing is that uh, the Chief Minister has been completely sidelined. Uh, if you notice, uh, all the three nominated MLAs are from the BJP. The BJP did the nomination even before anything happened in the, uh, I mean, even before the MLAs took oath or the ministry was formed and whatnot, it was uh, uh, completely out of tradition to do that. Uh, usually only after uh, the assembly meets and all that uh, is a list of names forwarded to the Lieutenant Governor, but uh, the BJP has uh, a Lieutenant Governor who previously was with the party. Of course, we can't uh, say that she's currently with the party because uh, that will become uh, a, a defamation case in itself, uh, however true it might be. Uh, given uh, the fact that the entire environment is BJP enabled, they just uh, went ahead and without even uh, the chief minister knowing, uh, he already saw that uh, the three nominees' uh, names were already being flashed in the paper and all of that. I think he also learned it from his friends and from the media only, number one. And secondly, what we see is that the uh, BJP refused to concede the demand of uh, the NR Congress to give the MP seat uh, to the party. It went ahead and nominated its own uh, person. And, uh, of course, uh, in between, of course, we saw that uh, Mr. Rangaswamy, the chief minister, was against having a deputy chief minister uh, because he said that there is no provision for that in the constitutional scheme of things. There are no rules and all that. But, unfortunately, he was overruled on that also. So, it is basically, uh, for me, it seems like uh, uh, Rangaswamy is, a, in effect, uh, a person uh, who is just sitting there in the chair and... Uh, uh, he is sitting very tightly in the chair that uh, they are not able to move him. But otherwise, it uh, appears as if the BJP is calling the shot, BJP is running the administration. And uh, all that you see across uh, the Union Territory is uh, uh, Dr. Tamilisai going around and inaugurating stuff and uh, doing COVID vaccination uh, follow-ups and not, not. Whereas we don't see the Chief Minister doing any of those things. And uh, that's, a, that's a reason for worry because, you know, you elected uh, a bunch of people to govern you. And now we have uh, a, an unelected official who is appointed to the post uh, doing uh, whatever uh, the uh, high command in Delhi wants you to, uh, to do or the government in Delhi, the home minister in Delhi wants you to do. So when that is the situation, I think uh, it's a pretty sad thing. I don't think uh, you need a ministry in uh, Pondicherry. You need, uh, you, uh, it's a wasteful expenditure to try and elect 30 uh, MLAs uh, and then uh, be stuck with the lieutenant governor who will who can do as she pleases, he or she pleases. That's the reason for the tweet. The people of Puducherry is all at sea. They got a government after a very long delay, even during the second wave of the pandemic, with all these developments, with the lieutenant governor, governor taking control. What is the future of uh, the uh, Union Territory or the people of Union Territory? See, the uh, thing about uh, Puducherry is that uh, there has been minimum government for a very, very long time. And, uh, you know, anything that has happened in Puducherry is because of the people of Puducherry, not because there is a government in Puducherry. Let's be very clear on that. The government has only interfered in the life of uh, people of Puducherry and created it, uh, created worse things. The MLAs and the others, what have they done? Uh, they have only given exemptions to uh, building rules and regulations and all kinds of, uh, uh, you know, uh, things in uh, Puducherry itself. And been part of, uh, uh, you know, in some cases, been part of people who do not have the good of Puducherry in their heart and uh, ended up, uh, you know, being party to land grabs and whatnot. We have seen that in so many cases. Most of the uh, MLAs have uh, some kind of uh, real estate dealing or the other. That's what we have seen. Whatever has happened in Puducherry is because of the people of Puducherry. Uh, Puducherry is Puducherry because of uh, the people of Puducherry. It became a holiday spot. It became a tourist spot and, and whatever. Because of the people of Puducherry, people, uh, you know, work towards uh, building that. It is not the government which did it. And hence, when you have a government, it only uh, ends up impeding uh, all of these things. And we, that's what we've been seeing. We've been seeing uh, pushback and uh, trying to say that this is a Hindu holy site with which has some 
68 uh, famous temples and what not and what not. Obviously, it's a fact. But it's also a holiday town where uh, people come uh, and, you know, enjoy their time without with, with a merriment that you cannot see in Chennai and the other cities of Tamil Nadu. Uh, so that is because of the people. And I really hope uh, that uh, the new left and governor and the, uh, uh, not the new left and governor, the left and governor in charge and the others do not get in the way of what people want to do in uh, the cherry at all uh, and help them in some way uh, to regain uh, some of that uh, last glory and whatnot and make sure that, uh, you know, more encouragement does not come and uh, more land grab does not have, uh, take place in Pondicherry and actually facilitate the entrepreneurship of the people of Pondicherry. So, with the BJP dominating the daily administration and the Lieutenant Governor almost taking control of the administration, what is the future of the NR Congress and N. Rangaswamy in the state? No, this is a classic case of a uh, small party being followed whole by a big party and uh, the uh, at the same time the boss of the party doing nothing because of the skeletons that he has his own in his own cupboard. Uh, so what we'll see is a gradual disintegration of the NR Congress uh, over uh, the next five years or six years or whatever. And then what we'll see is that uh, the metamorphosis of the NR Congress into the uh, as uh, the BJP. So uh, just as we have seen in the case of uh, Assam, Hemanta Biswa Sarma and uh, Kiran Rijiju and uh, all the others in the Northeast, what we see in those places is that the uh, en masse uh, people from the Congress, MLAs and all of that move into the uh, move into BJP. Initially, they form a separate, a separate block because of uh, the anti-defection laws and whatnot. Then they move into the BJP, which is what happened in uh, Arunachal Pradesh. So we will see this. Uh, and finally, you will have the same set of guys which are probably belonging to the Congress now being uh, part of the BJP. Why are they uh, in our Congress route or some other route or uh, whatever? So what we are going to see is, uh, uh, what we are seeing now actually is the last days of the NR Congress. And uh, just because it doesn't stand for anything, like, you know, it doesn't, uh, it's it's not a Dravidian party, so for starters. It is not a communist party for uh, heaven's sake. And it is not a Hindutva party. So what are you standing for? You're not a Dalit party. You're not a uh, Muslim party. You, you don't uh, belong to the religious space at all. And at the same time, you do not uh, uh, profess equality, uh, equity of people and whatnot. So given all these things, a welfare party like the ADMK, uh, NR Congress is going to uh, go down very fast because the uh, you know geography of uh, Puducherry is very little. The number of people in NR Congress also is proportionately very small. Uh, the same thing will happen to uh, one part of the ADMK much later. But what we'll see now is the disintegration of NR Congress uh, in the possibly in the next five six years or as soon as uh, uh, Rangasamy decides to leave the scene. So with all these developments. Do you see any future for the Congress in Puducherry? No, there is no hope for right now for uh, Congress in Puducherry. It is just that, uh, uh, you know, somebody will have to give it on a platter to Congress. Only then Congress can win. Uh, now, uh, if uh, the NR Congress, uh, you know, becomes defunct, and then uh, there is an election as a result of that, we will see that uh, the Congress and the BJP will be fighting head to head. And then again, uh, you know, there is a possibility that a lot of uh, people from the Congress will win. But uh, unfortunately, what will happen subsequently is that is what uh, what happened in uh, from uh, what December to uh, December, January, February, or February of uh, uh, 2021. We'll see the same drama being repeated, wherein uh, Congress MLAs will move to the BJP uh, because suddenly they'll get extremely interested in the uh, you know Kolgai Court particle, the principles and uh, uh, the idealism of the BJP. Uh, and of course, Mahatma Gandhi will be there to bless this all. And that is the only reason they'll move, even if they say that it is principles and uh, all that. Thank you so for joining us. Thank you so much. That's all we have time now. Thank you for watching Newsprint.